Welcome. This is Glitch Monkey. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to install Vein Miner, thus other mods into mod packs downloaded from Curse. In this instance, I'm using Atonement, and we'll install Vein Miner and go over a minor uh, configuration change that will allow Vein Miner to work in most circumstances. Anyway. First thing you want to do is open up the curse launcher and load up the uh, pack that you want to use in this instance, like I said, atonement. We're going to go to options, resource packs, and open resource, resource pack folder. And the reason why we're going to do this is it'll take us to the install directory of that instance that's running. We don't want the resource pack. We want the mods folder. You drag and drop your uh, mod you want to add to it into the folder. In this instance, it's vein miner, which I've already done. Once that's in there, then you want to go ahead and close the mod pack that you're using, the instance, and reload it. I've already loaded it, and the reason why you want to do that is it will then load all of the configs for it. And I don't want to rename it. We come in here, we'll see Vein Miner under configs, under the mod pack, Vein Miner. We'll go ahead and open up that folder. And then you want to edit the general config file. And in this case, I'm going to use Notepad++ because it's awesome. For this change, we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and we want to set overrides to true, both of them. This will allow any tool, anything held in the hand to break the blocks. However, you still have to have the correct things such as um, picks for stone or metals, ores, and that kind of stuff like that. So it's not fully option, optioned, but it makes it a little bit easier. And then if we scroll up a little bit under client, we want to make sure that this setting here is on pressed. That's what makes it so that when you hold down the default tilde key and then you break a block, it will go ahead and activate vein miner. Then you go ahead and save it, which I don't need to save it because it's already changed. And then you want to go back and reopen the mod pack and those configurations will be changed. Anyway, that's a quick way to do it. I'm not going to talk about how to copy or paste or anything like that. I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. But this is the quickest way, and it'll work for any mod that you want to add to a mod pack. Thanks, and I'll see you again next time.